Am I am I hidden? Because he's like coming this way, and I don't really like that. My only defense is drilling him with. Uh oh. Hello and welcome back to some Nautica. So I did what I said I would do. I went and uh, got the creep vine seed cluster that we needed in order uh, to power the base down here, and I moved it just a bit because uh, I like this area over here a bit better. So I'll show you what I did. I did just a bit more than uh, actually make a power source for the base. I went ahead and made a fabricator and communications relay as well. And we've got our power down here, which is the bioreactor. So what I want to do is set up a bit more around the base. And then we're going to go ahead and go exploring uh, further within the Lost River. So the first thing that I want to do is move the power solar charger that I put uh, here in the Cyclops into the base. So we're just going to deconstruct this one. And while I'm here, I need to grab a battery because my sea glide is pretty much dead. So we will grab a battery and we'll change that uh, and we'll go make the power cell charger. So we now have this here and I really should have been smart enough to actually grab uh, two dead power cells, but I'll go get that. And I also want to make a moon pool here in order to dock the prawn suit uh, here at the base instead of in the uh, Cyclops because then I'll be able to uh, like save power in the Cyclops if I'm charging the uh, prawn suit from the base instead of the Cyclops I'll have more power with the Cyclops and not have to worry about running out which by the way I did have enough power cells we're at something like 45% power I think right now so we should have some depleted ones yeah we'll take two of those and I'll see how to make the moon pool as well so what I first need in order to make the moon pool is titanium then I also need lead uh, the rest of the stuff I have, or at least I have the stuff to make it, uh, I know there is titanium down here. I'm not certain about lead, but I'm guessing I can find some. So we're going to hop in the prawn suit and take it out. I've gotten a lot of titanium down here just from like the nodes you can drill. So with that drill, we probably have a good 50 or more titanium. Uh, and I did find the outcropping that has lead, but unfortunately, uh, I've only had a couple of them. And they've been up here by uh, where, of course, the ghost leviathan hangs out. So... I guess we're going to have to go up there because we need lead to make the moon pool and that's going to make things a lot easier, uh, and especially if we need any upgrades for this as well because I know there are upgrades we can get, uh, and I'd like to get the uh, grapple arm or whatever it's called. Uh, it's going to allow me to travel a lot more quickly. This is actually one of the outcroppings we need, and there's our buddy over there. Hopefully this is going to be lead, and of course it is not, but we're in the right area. There's actually more titanium here I might grab. Finally, all right. We are like way closer to the ghost leviathan i'd like to be so we are gonna get out of here the positive is there is materials everywhere here like uh, you can see gold lithium uh nickel ore so once we're like done exploring i'm gonna spend a lot of time here just drilling stuff out and mining materials because i've got enough titanium to build like a ton of lockers in the cyclops and we can just kind of make that a mobile materials kind of transportation device because there is so much stuff here there's no reason to leave uh, without getting a lot of it the other thing i want to do is actually plant some creep vine seeds so that we actually have some of them down here because i don't want to have to make uh that same trip that i did off camera before so i'm just trying to find like a flat spot that i can actually place this that'll work we're kind of getting chased by this thing i just want to plant one of them and get out of here all right that is done and i'll make a moon pool so i think it's probably best to have the moon pool coming from here so we'll have to make that, and then we should be able to attach it if we have it there. And that's going to allow us to dock our prawn suit down here. What I might actually do at some point is actually build our... Uh... Alright, hold on. I might possibly be crushing the base at the moment, so I just need to deconstruct that a bit uh, and go and get some lithium, which I do have, and we have to make uh, some reinforcements. So this should make that work. We're now at 14.4 hull strength, and then once we have this constructed, uh, yeah, we're at 5.6, so we are good. So we can go ahead and dock our prawn suit in there and stop stealing power from the Cyclops. And then one more thing that I know I want to do, and then I think we can take the prawn suit out and start exploring. So I want to make a water filtration machine in here, uh, so that way I can steal some of the water that's in the Cyclops and bring that with me uh, when I go exploring. And also, I want to... Uh, build the upgrade console, which I think I have to make a computer chip yet, but I have the stuff uh, to do that just in case there's any upgrades that I don't yet have that would help me. So I just want to check, do we have any upgrades uh, for the prawn suit that I could use? There's the drill arm, grappling arm, I don't remember how to make benzene, but I think that's 
probably with blood oil, which is pretty far from here. Uh, jet upgrade. That stuff I can all get down here. Thermal reactor. That might be useful. But I don't have Kyna. I don't even know what that is. And that we already have. So I'm probably going to make the jet upgrade because that should help us, like, fly for longer. I don't think I'm going to worry about the grappling arm. I don't have the uh, stuff to do that. But I'm going to go make the stuff for the jet upgrade quickly. Alright, so... I decided to suck it up and go get the stuff to make the grappling arm, which I'm glad I did because actually there wasn't uh, too far of a distance, a distance between uh, where I was and the next blood kelp. So I have that uh, and I also planted an extra uh, blood oil so we can have blood kelp down here. I'm going to take this stuff and plant that so we have some more of this. And one more thing I want to do uh, before we head down is make a third level on this base and the reason for that is the uh, one bioreactor we have is not powering uh, the base very well with that water filtration machine running so I actually have to go get uh, two more titanium actually I'm breaking my base again I have to get a lithium as well so I need to reinforce that and we will be set to go after I make a bioreactor so we can actually power the base efficiently okay we are reinforced and we can make our bioreactor and I did grab some stuff to actually throw in it to power the base, so we'll do that. And apparently I'm eating one of them, but that is that done. So we are pretty well set to go ahead and hop in the prawn suit and explore. I'm going to grab some water uh, out of the Cyclops so we have enough, and then we'll head down. Okay, so I've got lots of water, lots of food on me. We are pretty much full on both of them. And we've got the prawn suit with our jet upgrade, as well as the grapple hook, which I'll show you guys how that works. So if you can remember how the uh, prawn suit flew before, we're just gaining altitude a lot faster. The grappling hook just is going to allow us to just swing along. Uh, but this tree up here is as far as we got uh, exploring with the sea moth. We couldn't go any deeper uh, because of the hull integrity. The cool thing is with this uh, grappling hook as well, it allows the thrusters on the prawn suit to like regen or whatever you want to call it. So I can just kind of hover pretty much forever as long as I can reach the roof. But right up here is the end of where we've been so far. I'm actually going to save when we get up here because I don't want to lose all the progress I've made today if we die down here. So this is the edge of where we've been so far. I've saved the game. We are set to head down here and see what there is. It's a pretty deep drop. So we're down to about a thousand meters already. We've got 700 more to go. I don't know what that little red guy is is that just a rock that's not a creature is it whoa holy what are we in like a volcano kind of deal this is all getting like you can see the temperature on the uh, prawn suit on the right says 50 degrees Celsius that is rather hot We've got copper here I don't really know I mean, it doesn't really look like we can go much further that way, so I guess we'll try to go this way. Those look like the normal fish that we've seen. I don't want to do anything too quickly and, like, fall into that. Because I imagine that would pretty much kill the prawn suit and in turn kill me because I'm not going to be able to swim back. But this is actually crazy. There's like an underwater volcano, basically. There's a massive opening up here. And lots of lava. I still haven't seen anything, like, new, though. This is copper again. There was that one, like, fish that I haven't seen before. But other than that, this seems like a pretty similar area to anything else. Is that just normal titanium? Oh, there's a warper. That's not nice. Ooh, what is that? It's like a blue glowy thing over here. We're going to go figure out what that is. Those are those weird fish that I saw, by the way. I don't know what... Was that like a piece of the aurora just glitching through the terrain? I guess that's what it is. But I haven't seen those fish before with, like, the spiny tails. This is just normal gold. There's those fish coming this way. I'm not really a fan of that. Oh, there's a warper right there. Where'd the blue glowy thing go? Wasn't it, like, right over here? Holy high. 
What are you? I am going this way. I don't care what the blue glowy thing was anymore. Is it? Oh, I think he might be following me. I'm just going to hide over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that does not sound good. I want that blue glowy thing, but I am not going back. Oh, there's some over here. Away from that guy. That is a good thing. Oh, jeez. Almost fell in the lava. That guy's roar is terrifying. Whoa, that's like one of those transparent guys, but he's not transparent. What is this stuff? Kyanite. Didn't we need that? I said that this episode that we needed it for... Was it the thermal reactor for this thing? I don't know, but we're going to get some. Actually, we're going to get a lot of it. I think we'll go ahead and drill this one as well. So if we need this for anything, I don't have to come back down here because I am not coming back down here with that guy uh, more than once. What the heck? Get out of here. Leave me to my devices. Did he spit a fireball at me? Anyway, I think we got enough of that stuff. I'm going to repair this and kind of slightly die of overheating while I do it. I'll actually just quickly check the storage if I can reach it. Uh, we don't have that much of that. Actually, I want to drill the rest of that out. It takes forever, though, to get any of it. Okay, that is all of that. I don't know where that scary guy went, but uh, I'm going to stay to this side and see what else is down here. There's got to be something else other than just a massive whatever that was. What is that stuff? I've seen this before, but I don't actually know what it is. I wish uh, he's going to try to warp me. No, thanks. Get out of here. Get out of here. Once you, like, hit them with stuff, they leave. Like that. Anyway, what is this stuff? That's uraninite. I've seen that before, so in case there's any other, like, actual materials that I really can't seem to get anywhere else, I'm going to leave that. Ooh, that looks... Is that a material? Because I don't know that I've seen that kind of thing before. Oh, that is not... Is that a Reaper Leviathan head? It totally is. Did that guy over there kill this guy? Because this guy can kill me. It's always... Oh, what the... Wait a minute. Alright, all right, I'm going this way now. I thought... I don't know where I am, but I'm just going to go this way. Unless there's two of them? Which, that's not good. Uh, yeah, just gonna go over here. I can't tell if that's in front of me or behind me. Wait, okay, that's the one that I saw, because he was back there, and now he's going that way. But is there another one still? Because I thought there was one, like, over here. And maybe he just moved that far? He is closer than I'd like. I'm trying to put as much distance as I can between that guy and us. Oh, we're going deeper now, too. Is there anything down here? I mean, it's not just straight lava, so... Ooh, there is, like, a little cavey thing over here. Is there anywhere I can reach with my grapple hook to, like, go over there? Because if, <laughs> if that whatever it is comes over here and gets me, I'm really not in a good way. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys could hear that. It sounded like there was one in front of us yet, and we should be pretty much past the other one. So there might be another one down here. Holy... We're at 70 degrees Celsius for one thing, and this is nothing but lava, so... Oh, hold up. What is this? I am what you seek. Want to help you. That is creepy. I don't know why you want to help me. Wait, I guess escape. That's the only thing that I'm doing here. Kind of. There's another one. I kind of forgot the whole point of me being here for a second was actually to escape. Am I, am I hidden? Because he's like coming this way and I don't really like that. My only defense is drilling him with... Uh-oh. Yep, I'm leaving. I'm out. At least I'm going to try to be out. Whoa! I don't have any alien stuff though. I didn't bring any of the like, unlock thingies. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> he's coming this way. I'm glad I got that jump. Uh, upgrade. We can maybe possibly escape. Gonna try to. Actually, he might not be coming after us. I'm 
well, I'm like certain that we would need a uh, a purple artifact to get in there. But I'm at least gonna try to check. I'm gonna go like around this side. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's just sulfur. It was all like bright and glowy. How do we get past him? Uh, we're about to find out, it looks like, because that's kind of just a wall back there. Actually, how did I get in here? Oh, there's there's like a big thing, and then it goes into that deeper spot we were in. That scared me for a second. I thought I wasn't going to find my way back out. The good thing is we got a couple of med kits and stuff. As long as my prawn suit doesn't get destroyed, because if that happens, I'm done. Like, there's no swimming out. And I don't know that I brought... Yeah, I definitely don't have stuff that I could, like, build a little area that's going to keep me safe. That guy is surprisingly non-aggressive. I'm just, like, getting away from him. And I'm not really going to complain about that. I don't like his roar, I can tell you that. I think... Are those white crystals, or is that kyanite again? Let's just take a quick look. Uh, that is kyanite. He's coming this way again. So how do I get in here? Or can I even without a purple artifact? Well, I can pass through this. Uh, and then I need, I'm guessing, a purple artifact. Ooh. A blue. I think they changed it from artifact to tablet, actually. But that one's blue. Is that normal? I've never seen the prawn suit, like, sit down. I have never seen that. That's kind of weird. Uh, but apparently, we're not getting in here. And the bad thing is, that means at some point I gotta come back here. Unless there's like another alien structure around here that I can get a blue artifact from. But again, I didn't bring a purple artifact. I didn't really think the alien thing would be down here, to be honest. I never thought of that. I wish I would have, because we could like explore that right now if I had a blue one. Where would I get a blue one? Well, I get to try to go past this guy again, because I gotta get back out of here. I was looking around to see if there was anywhere, like, that a blue artifact would be hidden just, like, laying on the ground or whatever, because the first couple of purple ones that you find, or uh, blue tablets, whatever they're called, the first couple of purple ones you find are actually uh, just laying outside, so I thought maybe that would be the case for that one, but... Oh, wait. Is this, like, a whole other area? Because I haven't been over here. There's, like, a bit of a... entrance over there? Ooh, Wait. Is that a rock or an alien thing? I gotta let my boosters recharge, but that kind of looks alien-ish. Is that anything? I can't tell. Oh no, it was just a weird texture. Alright then, back to this entrance thing. Ooh, this might actually be something though, because there's another one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Falling in the lava. Okay. What is this place? Or wait, is that where I came in from? It might be. Yeah, it is. So I thought I was coming into a new place, and actually this is just where I came in from. And actually, I'm going to go ahead back out because obviously we need something in order to get down there uh, and into that alien thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to try actually going beyond where we just went back here. Maybe there's still more to explore. So looks like we have made it out safely. I decided to go ahead and back out. We clearly... It's not a... Is it just roofs or something? Okay, that's kind of scared me. Anyway, we clearly are missing something. We need to get that blue tablet. I don't have a clue where I would get that. But if I'm going back down there, I'm at least bringing some purple ones with me. I didn't want to explore too much further and then just end up having to go all the way back to get something that I could have gone back a lot much more quickly to get. So, we're going to head back to the base, uh, we'll recharge. I'm going to go ahead and make that thermal reactor for the prawn suit, though, because uh, you can see it's down to 66 energy there. It, uh, it sucks up energy worse than I thought. So, I definitely want to have that, just so that I can actually just go down there pretty much for as long as I want, as long as my food and water is going to last. Because the last thing I need is to run out of energy down there, because that's pretty much the same result as having that giant thing kill me or whatever, uh... My prawn suit can't move and I can't swim out, so yeah, we're going to make that and that's probably going to be it for this video. We've been recording for an hour and a half and a lot of that was just, what happened to him? Why did he do that? I don't know. Anyway, a lot of that was just prepping to go down there. We didn't actually spend more than maybe 20 minutes down there. 
but there is so much clearly that we have to do yet. Uh, we have to find that blue uh, tablet first and foremost, and there was that weird thing again that talked to us. I don't know what that was about, uh, but there's clearly more to the story for sure, and it got interesting fast today. The good thing is we have enough blood oil to not do that to plant two more of those so our grow bed's gonna be full i actually didn't use any of my food or water but we'll go ahead and dock this in the moon pool and then we can see how to make that thermal reactor quickly so we now have the stuff to make that thermal reactor and that is going to allow us to charge the prawn suit while we're actually uh down there so for next time we don't really have to worry about power go ahead and throw that in there so yeah, I think that's going to wrap up this video. That was a blast and I actually can't wait to go uh, back down there. I'm not sure what we'll do yet. I might build like a small base, nothing crazy, uh, just like somewhere I can get in. I'll probably build like a water filtration uh, and like a, uh, a grow bed so I have some stuff to like go back to and replenish. And I may even put a moon pool there so I can uh, actually dock my prawn suit and recharge it that way. But I don't have to worry about that as much. Uh, it might just be worth being able to dock the prawn suit. But yeah, definitely looking forward to next time. We got a lot done this video, uh, and I think next time is going to be just as fun. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.